So the plan was to hold this bike hostage until, uh, until I hit $20,000 on the No Good Hungry campaign. But I kind of picked that number arbitrarily. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I want to get, obviously I want to get the most donations I can. But uh, we didn't hit that. That's okay, I got a lot of other ideas to raise money this year. Keep you posted on that. Be some fun stuff, but also I didn't want to, you know, factor sent me a new bike. I don't want to hold it all year before they get mad at me. Um, so, and we got a lot of donations, so I appreciate all that. And it's time to reveal the bicycle. Uh, a bunch of you guys guessed that you saw a little blue in some of the picture. They didn't block off the blue. My Photoshop skills leave something desired. Um, and you guessed it was a Cookie Monster theme. Well, it wasn't gonna be Elmo, <laughs> you know? The, uh, so yes, it is a Cookie Monster bike. I'm gonna throw some images in there. I am riding it right now. The, uh, the images are, Velofix will come by to build your bike. And then in my case, they'll also take photos that make my photos look like shit. So I'll, I don't think that's like part of their service, but it is something that I've gotten to use. The, uh, so yes, yeah, Factor Ostro, really cool cookie paint scheme. Uh, it's fun. I, when, I was, when I was racing around, I do time trials, I used to pretend I was Pac-Man and the people like my Minuteman, my 30 second man, whatever, were my dots and my job was to eat them. So now I'm the cookie monster and people in front of me we're going to do a hypothetical hill climb. Uh, they are my, they're my dots. They're my sustenance. They're my cookies. So that's it. The bike, the bike is fun. And it's fast. I, when I, uh, when I first, I remember like I was on these kind of third year pro teams, my first bunch of years racing. And I, you know, I don't want to name the bike brands, but we didn't have the nicest stuff. And then one year I got on like a real team and I got like my first time trial bike, like a high-end aero, all, and I was like, oh. Uh, and that was kind of the feeling. I've never, I haven't really ridden a full-on aero bike uh, a whole lot. And this one, had, like a lot of those things are just, they're made to be aero, they're made for something weird called sprinting, I keep hearing about. Uh, th this one is also super light. I haven't weighed it because I'm still working on getting my own weight down. I've got the Noom thing, went from 155 to 151 last month, so that's good. But I'm not gonna like weigh my bike. But anyway, it's light, like I can tell it's light. You know, it's not as light as my Everesting setup, but as far as like a raceable road bike. And it has the feature of like the super rounded tubes. The fork is really wide, so the air can go in the middle. Apparently that's faster than pushing the air around the fork is like giving it this gap right here to go through. Um, you know, it's stiff, it feels good. I, I'm i not like, I'm still doing base training. That's why I'm pedaling in these videos, I'm trying to get a lot of hours in. There's only so many hours in the day. So this week, the goal for base week, this is my last week of base. I'm trying to hit 27 hours. We'll see if I pull that off with the other things I have going on. But, uh, so that you're gonna get this video on the move, if you will. Um, what else about this bike? The obviously built up with all the fancy Durace 11 speed. The wheels are tubeless. The Kenda Valkyrie uh, tubeless setup. Still running the 28s. Actually, no, these are 25s. 28s on my other bike. 25s because the aero bike, you know, they could be narrower. I'm not sure what's faster, but I have been. I enjoy the tubeless. Of course, the <laughs> first day I get an aero bike and it's all like the front end is minimized, the cables are hidden. You can't see anything. It's just like a super sleek front end. And then I put my cookie bag on there, <laughs> which I'll remove that for KOMs. But when I'm out riding, you know, I want my jacket. I got my, my gator in there in case I stop for coffee. I've got a, uh, the GoPro usually lives in there. You know, I just need all my stuff. Like I said, the bike is fast. It's been fun. I couldn't, I've been doing the base training, but coach let me have a little bit of basically I went for some KOMs because I was going to help myself and nothing like super prestigious or that I was targeting but just local stuff that I haven't been able to get before on my other setups kind of on the flatter side that 
I was able to get. Uh, my legs are coming around. That's been nice, despite, like last week, the end of a 24 hour week, I, I smashed a couple KOMs. I was pretty proud of that. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's oh yeah, I got the, the new Wahoo Speedplay dealies on there. Uh, everything you like about Speedplay, uh, but they've also got the bearing seal. So it was weird all those years people were like, oh, I don't like Speedplay because you gotta, you gotta grease it every six months. I'm like, you leave your chain, hopefully, about as often as that or more. Yeah, I don't know. But they've, they solved that not big of a problem uh, with that little redesign. What else do I have on this guy? Pretty much same setup. The, the Wahoo Roam. Um, oh yeah, the, I didn't know this when I first had Shimano, but they have these little buttons built into the shifter. And they're programmable via an app, or if you ask VeloFix to do it, and you can have them, you can have them do the buttons on your Wahoo. Uh, and I wonder what else could those buttons be programmed to do? No, I'm kidding. None of that works. But uh, it is it is sweet. You don't need like, you know, the, the shifter buttons are still there, but the shape is the old paddle, but it's really just a button because it's, you know, things are electronic now, if you guys are aware. It is uh, 2021. Um, so that's it. That's a new bike. Thanks for donating. I will, uh, I have a couple ideas for like, I'm not going for flat KOMs because that's just, going to be group rides and draftable but there's a certain you know not steep super steep gradient of hill where this bike would definitely be optimal and i've got some ideas for for fun ones to tackle here in the short term so stay tuned for the test run but so far i'm enjoying this bike it is fast it's fun and it's got cookies all over it um that's it here we are Encinal canyon it's hot out. Summer's gonna be hell if it's like this in uh, in the spring. But for now, I'm enjoying it. See ya.